with your outline questions. So, have a look at these and think to yourself, what do they all have in common? I mean, outline questions come as, I don't know, three markers, four markers, sometimes six markers. They come in various different forms. However, they are the answers are mostly based on content, but when they are in six markers, they become application. So this is, this is an example of it coming in the form of a content-based answer. So it says, outline the process and organelles involved in the translation of these proteins from RNA. This is why you need to know your processes, because if you don't know how translation occurs, then you can't answer it. So, how would you approach this? Well, you think to yourself, what does the question want from you? It wants how translation works from RNA to make a protein. So, write down the steps. The more detailed, the better, because that equates to more marks. And you never know, one point that you s said, um, that is a, a step in this process, might not be in the mark scheme for some odd reason. That's why it's always important to write more than expected. But don't over like overfill. Don't go below the lines, essentially. Just write enough. <laughs> and maybe a bit more. Now, this one. Don't freak out. It's a lot going on. Let me explain. <laughs> so, here's the question. What I would do in this case is, I mean, part A is just a fill-in. I, I kept it there because I wanted to show you the sort of, dare I say, vibe of the question. Um, but in this part, so part B, what I would read straight away is this. Outline a valid plan that could be used to investigate the effect of temperature on tallow's production in plants. You should include a suggestion for how tallow's production could be observed. This specific question is something you should write your notes. Memorise it. Understand it as well. But I'll go through how we can understand it together. So, it says a valid plan. A plan, right? A plan is science means you need an independent variable, a dependent variable, you need specifics, and most importantly, you need control variables. I cannot stress to you how many marks are on the paper just by giving an example of a control variable, or even just saying control variable. Ingrain that into your head. Control variables are on top, like top priority in six markers or whenever the question arises that you need to talk about it. So, as I said, this is a six marker. Question is, how would you approach this? So, you need to understand what the mark scheme is trying to get at, right? And by, like, how would you do it? We'll be analysing the patterns of it. So, I've done it here for you. So, these are the points that you must mention, right? The dependent variable, the thing you measure, you have to like say what it is. You can't just say, oh, you need a dependent variable. No, no, no. What is a dependent variable? Then say what the independent variable is, so the thing you change. And then state the range of something, I put X, that you are changing. For example, in this one, you're changing the temperature to so 0, 10, 20 degrees Celsius. And mention three control variables. Again, you have to be specific. What is it? Is the pH going to be the same? Same size, same species? Um, maintaining aseptic techniques? Conditions? They're all very vital. These points here, memorised, they always come up. So let's have a look at the mark scheme together. Yeah? So at the top, they have just general points of improving validity. Validity is such a vital, vital concept to understand and write about in your A-level biology papers. So, here we have the suitable range of temperatures, as I said here. Oh, sample size, that's another thing. And repeats. Those two things, vital. Those two things, control variables. Essentially, everything on this page is so pivotal in gaining marks. Repeat, I mean, 
if you're gonna do this experiment on one plant, is it gonna be representative? No, that's why you need many. And you have to, I don't know if you have to, but I think to be on the safe side, you should write how many plants? I don't know, 50, 100 plants. Um, yeah, and you need to repeat that. And then this is quite an interesting concept. Idea of a baseline measure of callous levels before the experiment. That answer actually pops up in many questions when I was um, doing my past papers. It's not going to come up as callous, but it's, it might come up as water concentration in a potato before and after adding something to it, for example. So that is a sentence you should write your notes and adapt wherever you think deserves that sentence to be written. Again, look, they have a whole section of control variables. That's how important it is, because that's the only way you can standardise the experiment. Or one of the ways. Um, and then Callow's observation, because the question wanted how Callow's production could be observed, immediately you think microscopes, because that's what we were taught in class, isn't it? So you saw microscopes, take tissue samples, because you're not going to get the whole plant and put it under the microscope. You need to take samples. Standardization, key concept to learn in bi biology. That's where repeats and controls come in. And then staining, staining. That, again, very important. Is because um, it makes it easier for you to see under the microscope. Um, and next time you do a practical in class, have a look. Is it stained? I bet it is. Nine times out of ten. Or maybe ten times, ten times out of ten, it will be stained. Um, yeah. So that's how you answer that. Again, the two most important exam techniques are what? Read the question first and state all the obvious points. Have a go at these questions. Remember, the key to them are analyse the patterns. I mean, the key to getting a star in aid of a biology, alongside having memorised all the content and underst understanding it, right, is to analyse the patterns of the mark scheme. What sort of answer do the examiners want? What are they looking for? And write answers to give them what they want. Because that's how you're going to get the A star. So, have a go yourself and let me know how it goes.